Hi everyone, in this quick video from Count Backwards from 10, we're going to take a look at pressure support, our ICU ventilator mode. Now, this is gonna be the quickest of our ventilator modes because it's really the simplest and there isn't too, too much going on here, so I promise I'm going to make this video quick. Before we get started, as always, if you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe, pass it on to somebody else you think it might help. In the meantime, let's go ahead and get started. So, like always, we have our ventilator over here on the left side, and we're just gonna go ahead and say that our mode is PS for pressure support. Now, we're gonna talk about what we dial in, then we're gonna discuss what the machine actually does, and then what we get out as a result. So, the only thing, really, that we're going to dial into this is a pressure, and this is going to serve as our support. So what does this mean? And this is where we're going to talk about what does the machine do? Ooh, that is not working. Sorry. So very simply, what pressure support does is every time the patient initiates a breath the machine provides oh, I spelled that wrong sorry provides support in the form of extra pressure So every time the machine recognizes that there is a negative flow in the tubing, meaning anytime the machine sees that there is uh, airflow moving this way in the patient, uh, in the tubing going back because the patient is inhaling and trying to move air down into their lungs. Once the machine sees that, and we'll draw our graph here, and we'll go ahead and call the y-axis pressure and the x-axis time. So what the machine is going to see and what's gonna happen is there will be, and I'll do this in green, there will be a negative pressure sensed by the machine because the patient is starting to inhale by themselves and then the machine will deliver extra pressure up to help support their breath and then it comes back down to base. Then as the patient triggers a breath again, it'll sense that negative pressure in the tubing and the flow uh, based off of the flow moving backwards towards the patient. And again, it will kick up the amount of pressure that it's delivering to the patient. So as a result, we're going to go ahead and get a tidal volume out of this. And this is because, again, the relationship of pressure and volume uh, once you have a preset amount of pressure, it will fill a certain amount of volume in this in the patient's lungs. So you're going to see this used a lot in weaning from the vent. Now, we don't really talk about you know weaning so much, so much as just vent liberation. Uh, but if you want to test somebody, if you want to give them some exercise and see how they're going to do before extubating them, what we do is we put them on pressure support, maybe of five uh, or eight, and we see what kind of tidal volumes they're taking as a result and for how long they can do that for. So sometimes um, you know, we'll put patients on pressure support and, you know, this is called an uh, SBT or spontaneous breathing trial. And the pressure support is to try and help them overcome the breathing through the straw because they're really breathing through the, uh, a narrow tube and we'll let them go on pressure support, maybe five, eight, depending on who's doing it for anywhere from 30 minutes to two hours and make sure that they are reliably taking adequate tidal volumes for their size and that they're not desaturating, that they're not becoming apneic, anything like that. And this is where I should also mention, with pressure support mode, we also dial in uh, apnea settings. So if we test the patient with pressure support and they become apneic for whatever reason, they're over sedated 
or they become hypercapnic because they're not triggering enough breaths, the machine, while in pressure support mode, uh, will actually trigger apnea mode, which you'll have your standard uh, tidal volume rate, FiO2, and PEEP. But again, for the most part, pressure support mode is meant to help support a spontaneously breathing person that you're getting ready to try and take off the vent or to exercise for some amount of time during the day. So as always, I hope this made sense. I hope this cleared up anything that you might not have known about pressure support ventilation. Again, this is just an introduction. Uh, please consult your textbooks for further information about it. Uh, as always, if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out. I'd love to hear from you or if you're interested in getting involved. Otherwise, stay tuned for the next video.